Uh, we are in the Seed Studio factory right now, um, getting ready to go check out the production of the Alike bands. Well, can we go have a look at the factory? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Into the Seed Studio factory. Here we are. So this is the board where the workers um, decide what they're going to be working on for today. This is a uh, automatic uh, solder stencil machine, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a circuit board. Yeah. It goes in. It'll be wearable. It'll be a wearable. It goes in here, and you can see uh, liquid solder paste is put onto the board and stenciled across. I'm not sure if we can see in there, but that's what's happening. It comes out on this little uh, conveyor belt over here, goes through, and it goes here. You can see that there's solder paste on each of the pads. Now it goes into this machine, which is a pick-and-place machine. And what the pick-and-place machine does is it takes parts from these spools of components. You can see these are teeny tiny little resistors, capacitors, other components. They're fed into this machine and this head picks them up and uh, places them down um, on the board. And so it places them and then it'll be ready to go into the uh, reflow oven for actual soldering. So at this point, the components are just sitting on top of the solder that was squeegee onto the board yeah, so once by the, that other machine. Right? right, so once the solder is squeegeed onto the board, the components are sitting on top of it. Um, they're placed, and then the next step will be to actually melt the solder that makes the components actually stick to the board. Behind me, this is, um, this is actually where they keep all the spools of components that go into the pick and place. Then behind all of that is where the uh, stencils, the yeah. stencils, right. So the yeah. stencil is what they actually put on the, uh, when it's time to put the solder paste on and that other machine over there, they put the stencil in the machine and it's basically just a bunch of laser cut holes, and so they just squeegee solder paste over it and then remove the stencil and then that's how they make the perfect little square of solder paste for the component to be put down on. So, comes out this side over here. You can see a uh, completed board right here. They're gonna go into this conveyor belt right here and the board comes through um, this long oven. It's fed through on a conveyor belt and there are many different heating zones. Instead of just having an oven that like changes the temperature really fast because that's harder, you just have a really long oven with many different temperature zones that the board goes through and it cooks it as it goes through. So now we, uh, we come this way, the boards come through the reflow oven and they come out on the other side. Uh, I don't know if there's a board coming out right now. Can't see anything. It's basically the same thing as a pizza oven. So as you can see here, we have some, uh, some completed boards. DIP components. Oh, DIP components, yes. Her name is Pan Chen Cho and she's putting on DIP components. Awesome. How many components um, does she do in one day? Like, are we talking like hundreds, thousands, maybe thousand components in one day? Mm -hmm. So these, so, th so these components are different than the uh, these components are different than the components that were placed by the pick and place machine. Pick and place machine only does the surface mount components, the flat surface ones. So you know these are parts that actually um, have pins that go all the way through the board. So this is through hole soldering, correct? It's very, very hot. So you can see. Um, so we've got the, 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 the components, the through hole components are placed on this and he's actually um, putting it into this, uh, this jig here. And then, oh, I see. and then he's gonna dip it into this pot of molten solder and it's gonna suck the solder up onto the legs and attach, and attach them. Whoa. So there's like a little film that gets yeah. pulled out first. Yeah. I don't think you wanna touch that. <laughs> Whoa. Do we get do we get sound of that? Do you hear yeah. that sizzle? It's a good it's a good sound. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> wow. So after soldering, this comes to these are these are cleaning machines right here. Um, and so we put boards down in there, and it just generally cleans them off before we move into the into the next steps of the process. So issuer quality check comes yeah. next after cleaning. Yeah. We can set up an assembly line if the if the PCB needs to have one. So there's some things that you can't do in the machine, is that what's happening? And then some of, some of it is done by hand? Right, so there, exactly. So you can see, yes. you can see here, if that's okay. Um, 
this going through, um, putting these things in, soldering by hand. So you see like this component needs to come in from the other side of the board, um, but there's already a plastic piece there, so we can't use the, uh, the solder dipping part. Like oh, on that I previous see. machine where they would put the three old components in and then just dip it in, um, you can't do that anymore because it would melt the plastic piece. So if you have to have parts that come through on different sides of the board, you have to do part of it by hand. Um, and that's what these guys are doing. So your choice of where you put the parts on the board is really going to affect if everything can be done 100% in a machine or if a lot yeah. of it has to go in Yeah, there. one key thing to understand really is like when you're designing something, understanding how the actual production process is going to work can really make your life easier if you take that into account at the beginning of the design process. Because then when you get to the production process, you can try to automate it as much as possible or, you know, have an idea of how long it's going to take to all the different, do all the different steps in the process. So now we're cutting pins. And that's just, uh, it's, uh, it's exactly what it sounds like, cutting, cutting the pins. pins. Cutting pins is exactly what it sounds like. Oh, look what it is over here. Yeah, what let's, you got? let's see what, what you it got? is over here. <laughs> so we're adding, so these are the actual light bands that are going to be used at the solid conference. The surface mount soldering part went through the oven, um, but now the last bit that we have to do is, is put these actual battery clips onto the board and then solder them on by hand. So now we have to solder the battery sockets on. So now we're actually testing. Oh, this is the test jig that we set up yesterday. Oh, that's cool. You know, one, one really important thing when you're thinking about designing something is, is, you know, what's it gonna be? How do you teach the person on the other end how to test it? You know, if you wanna make something and have it manufactured at scale, it's not like you're just going to China and pushing a button and having it happen, you know? There's people who have to work on it. There's a whole process that has to get done. You have to teach someone else how to make it. And so a very important thing to think about is having an entire test routine so that the people who are making it know that they've made it correctly. So, uh, we made a uh, small circuit board uh, that's sitting over here. Uh, mm -hmm. And this board is actually always transmitting um, information. So whenever he puts a board into program a new one, mm -hmm. uh, that new board will get, will get some stuff over the radio and then turn on a sequence of LEDs. So he's doing it right now. So he's burning the soft device and firmware, which is the next step now. There oh. you go. So now we're going through a sequence of color lights, which tells us that everything is fine. Uh, and then he's shaking just to make sure that the battery is well placed. Uh, sometimes the battery is not well connected. Right. And if you move it around on your arm, it will disconnect and move right. um, So we need to think about those things. Yeah. yeah. And that's why he's putting the battery to do that. Mm -hmm to like figure out a testing process that would be fast enough for each board that like doing all the boards that we're making wasn't going to take forever. So we had to like think about um, what the procedure would be to make it so we could find out if it's actually going to work, but like not take a ridiculous amount of time because you don't have time to be like, oh, let's try this firmware, let's try that other firmware, you know, like, is it going to work, is it not? Like we have to think about what is the test routine that's going to make sure that we know yeah, that, that all the, the core components the are working. working. Yeah. 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 Issuer quality check. control check happens yeah. next. Hello. But what kinds of things does she check? The soldering. The soldering. Yes, the materials. And the materials. The, the directions. And the directions. Yeah. Right. And so she's in charge of making sure that everything's done according to yeah, specification. To the, all the process are good. That's the entire process for the and PCBA means yeah. assembled PCB, right? Assembly, PCB assembly. Assembly PCB. Right. Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah. Can we finish this? Yes, I think we finished. All right. Okay. Thank you, guys. We're basically putting together all the different components for the first time. Um, so if something doesn't work, now is the time we're going to find out. Uh, Let's see, is it going to work? What do you got there? Uh, uh, oh. uh. Sounds like a snap. Yeah, it works. There you go.